maybe it's time for me to transition from Planet Fitness to another gym. I don't know. We'll see. She looks good, isn't she? Absolutely gorgeous. Ooh, y'all see my double chin here. I'm gonna bring my ass over here because y'all are ignorant. Some music, eh? I gotta stuff it up. This is the gift. A candle. Isn't that so cute? In the house with my favorite t-shirt on. Huh? I'm not you. I'm talking to my vlog. And I'm eating brown stew chicken, cabbage, rice and peas. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm.
Is she yummy? She looks good, isn't she? Shake nice. the devil off. You. You're welcome. Oh, this mm -hmm. ring you see. Mm -hmm. Well, don't show that part. You see. Yeah, there we go. Mm -hmm. And the cookies go inside of that. So mm -hmm. that's how the packaging goes together. And did you read your note? Did you read your note? Yes, I did. Oh, yeah, you did. Yes, Congratulations yes. on selling your home. I know that we can be to let go. Oh, yeah, I don't want him to hear me to read it. So I just got off the shower. I've already showered, got dressed, and this is the fit for the day. Just some. Um, really baggy jeans really ripped baggy jeans and i'm about to go to best buy because we have to pick up a sound bar i was supposed to pick it up literally like yesterday but i never got around to doing it there's stuff still everywhere i'm judging mama don't judge me but yeah i'm about to head out of the house but i showered and just put some jeans on, put on my, I did go to Walmart and get a bigger size so that this is a large versus the medium that I have. I know that eventually I will be able to fit the medium, so I'm not too pressed about having two sizes for the same shirt. This is how we look from behind. I'm gonna put some of my oil. Y'all know I use the Avena Oat Oil for my latte. I'm really hungry, but I'm trying to figure out what to eat. Still have a lot of work to do. So, yeah. I just wanted to come and uh, tell y'all what I'm doing. Yeah. So, I'm about to head to Best Buy. See y'all later. And I'm currently showering with no shower curtain, but we're making it happen. We're making it literally happen without making a mess all over the floor. Sorry, really bad habit that I have. But yeah, that's what we're about to head to. We're going to Best Buy and I'll see y'all. Let me put some jewelry on because I ain't worn no jewelry in, long, in a few days. Yeah, I forgot to mention. So I'm so mad. Like I took a shower and my towel had lint all over it and then I oiled my body up and I don't know if y'all can see all the lint that's on this shirt. That was just on my body. So I had to literally take the shirt and like literally dust myself off because all that lint was on me. Stick it to my body. I'm just trying to make sure there's no more on me. But we don't have to do. Anyway. I see about to hear. Well, I'm about to go out with this on my head. I don't know. Literally, I don't know. I can't wait to get back in the gym. Because, let's be for real, like, girl. We need to get back in the gym so that we can work on this. Because she's coming everywhere with me. And it's getting real girl. I've already moisturized my face, washed my face and all that stuff earlier with the last time I spoke with you all. I did it immediately after that. So I'm gonna go ahead and straighten up a little bit because it's already chaos in this house and I'm not trying to give more chaos. So bye. I'm in the Popeye's line. Just ordered my food. And why are they just sitting here? I mean, just casually just sitting here and y'all see how far the window is? Away from him? Girl, I'm hungry. Scoot your ass up. Like, what are you doing? And I'm not getting food for just myself. My family came in town from Florida and they stopped by to visit. And you in my way, Buki. I need you to go on, 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 on. Like, be for real. This ghetto ass shit. Like, the lady had to literally stick her head out the window and like call her, beckon for her to come several times. And they sitting up here having a full on conversation. And it's like eight cards in front of me. It's only been approximately three minutes, three minutes since the last clip. But like, 
what are y'all having a full conversation about that y'all can't have a conversation about after she pulls out of the parking lot? Like, I just don't understand. Am I being dramatic? Y'all let me know. Am I being dramatic? Y'all, so I just got home. I am about to shower. I just put this shirt on for the purpose, for the sake of me filming real quick. But y'all see my face? Stress. Stress will do it to you. Um, I set up majority of my bathroom, except for like right here. I mean, like the only thing that's missing is my shower curtain, like the cloth one. I have the plastic for now that will hold me. I had to just cut it, y'all. Literally just cut it because it was too long. I bought these. I bought these extra long, extra long heavyweight shower liner in clear from Walmart. And they're 78 extra inches long. They're huge. They're long as hell. I had to cut it. I thought the rod was actually higher up than what it actually is. It's not that high. Like I thought it was. And these hooks I got from TJ Maxx. They were $7.99. I got two because I usually do two shower curtains, two clear ones. That's why you see I have another one. And I'm contemplating putting it up, but I think I'm still going to put it up. I think I'm just going to get rid of the hooks. I absolutely hate these hooks. Like... I hate these hooks like I prefer one that actually clasps I thought these would have been cool because of the simple fact that they are um double end and when I say double end this is what I mean let me show y'all this I can show y'all this one. so they're double ended so you can if you're putting your outer curtain like your cloth curtain you can put it on this side and your plastic clear like what I did on the inside so that it hooks and you don't have to like if you're changing one or washing one you don't have to unclasp but I think I'm gonna go back to the class ones because for the simple fact that they are so flimsy like these are supposed to be smooth glide but they're too smooth for me like no so I just wanted to show y'all that on my progress on what we've got done but I'm not literally about to shower, wash my face, and all that good stuff. Um, there was something I wanted to talk to y'all about, but at this moment, I don't remember what it was. I genuinely don't remember what it was. So, I have to take my vitamins. The only thing that I can't find that I usually take every day is my... What is it called? My iron pills. I usually take those every night. Tomorrow, I have tomorrow I have a doctor's appointment with my OB. Just a regular normal checkup. But I'm about to go ahead and do my hygiene stuff and get it Craig a leg up a bit. But yeah, I really kind of hate these shower curtains. Like I genuinely want to switch them. I don't like them. Got these off Amazon. They are little cups for your hands so that you're not getting water everywhere when you're washing your face. If you've already checked out my skincare routine, you would know that. So water isn't like running everywhere. But anyway, um, if y'all don't see me, oh yeah, I didn't get to take my hair down for the simple fact that I know I have a doctor's appointment tomorrow. So we just gonna have to go in there bust and disgust it until I'm able to wash my hair. Which I'm going to take these out as soon as I get home from the appointment. Good morning. Happy Monday. I'm currently, my face is dry because I didn't put nothing on. Like, literally nothing. And I don't feel like going back in the house, so I'm not. Um, we still had to be dry today. Maybe I should just go put some moisturizer on. Stop being lazy. Because I feel like I look dead. Yeah, let's go do that this is sad happy monday so currently i am headed to the doctor's office um that's the thing the schedule for today is just to go to the doctor's office and come back i have to be there at 10 30 it is currently 9 23 
and I know it's gonna take 45 minutes to get there. So we are scheduled to be there within that hour. But I'm just gonna go ahead, key the music, and I'll see y'all later. Hey y'all, so I am currently leaving the doctors. Let me turn the radio down because we ain't trying to get copyrighted. But I'm leaving the doctors, got my blood work done. Um, checking because my blood, my, not blood, my cholesterol was really high last time, which is why I haven't, I'm having a follow-up appointment. I need to find a primary care physician. I don't have one, which is why I keep having to go to my OB for shit like this. But um, hopefully now that we've moved, um, I can find one that's nearby. But um, I am out the city and out the way. Let me actually come this way. You could do whatever the hell you wanna do from up there. But I literally, while I was in the doctor's office, AT&T called me because we have, we have an appointment scheduled with AT&T today. It's supposed to be from two to four. Oh my God, y'all almost had a mini heart attack. <laughs> it's the ambulance. I literally just came from the hospital. That's crazy. But um, what was I saying? I had an appointment scheduled with AT&T. It was scheduled from 2 to 4 p.m. Excuse me, but they could, they just called while I was literally, as I was leaving out the doctor's office, they were calling me. They called twice, phone on do not disturb, so. Um, I told them that, you know, I'm not even nearby the house right now, but I will be in at least about 40 minutes. So we're going to be only 10 minutes away. So they said that because I've already finished, I guess what they had to do prior to my appointment that was really scheduled from two to four so they're gonna go ahead and try to squeeze us in early which is perfect well not squeeze us in but get us in early rather than waiting until two so i was like that's fine um but i'm not nearby so i let them know that in advance that i'm not nearby and he was like okay cool see you in about 30 to 45 minutes so that's where we're headed now we're headed home um so hungry y'all uh, it's not even funny obviously because i haven't eaten all day but we're headed back home to the house and i'll see y'all in a few hey y'all so we're back in the house at t just left and we've got us a package i'm assuming i already know what's in here but let's open it let me turn y'all don't mind all the extras in the background. I believe that these are my hangers. All right, one package. Kudos to Amazon putting all of the things that I ordered in the same box. And not ordering, I mean, send them out in two separate packages. Dang, I didn't even cut through the tape. But I thought I did. Okay. Sorry I'm having to do this in the restroom. But, right now, it's limited space. We have stuff everywhere that we need to pack away. Shove this in there, okay? Here comes our cutlery set. Isn't that just absolutely gorgeous? I hope, I really do hope that it fits inside of the drawer. I mean, it's just temporary until I get the tray that I want. But we have our spoons, our cutlery, our 
butter knives, our forks, teaspoons. All oh, these are just so gorgeous. I can't wait to eat out of these. And it'll go with the theme of the kitchen well, like spot on. So that's the first item in this box. I only ordered two things right now. I know it's gonna be package after package after package after package, box after box after box. And these are stainless steel um, cooking utensils. I got these off Amazon. And our final box, which is in the box, is heavy, so I don't wanna hold this one up. In the cut the box for y'all because that'll be a bit much I need to invest in a box cutter I have one somewhere but y'all when I tell you this stuff literally everywhere it's stuff everywhere start putting stuff up in my closet these are the hangers that I purchased I am gonna get the velvet clips for my pants to clip inside rather than buying two separate and they're light I love that I was looking for some that were gold tipped instead of rose gold but I mean hey who cares it's really just a hanger um, and it'll work it'll get the job done temporarily i mean for longevity and these i got these also because they were the highest rated on amazon so there's that i'm actually while i'm in the bathroom now i'm gonna go ahead and take these out because i already went to my doctor's appointment and i only kept these in for that reason because I knew I had a doctor's appointment, but now I can take these out because it's time. It's been past time, but I don't have any like other appointments or engagements any further. So these will do. I had these in for about two months and that's pretty reasonable i usually keep braids in for at least two to three months before i take them out but because these are cornrows my hair is a much of a it's really thick but it's softer than than it really looks so later on i will go ahead and take these out or maybe i should just go ahead and do it since i'm standing here that's all I wanted to come and show y'all was these packages. Let me it is. All right, so we made, don't mind the water that's on my shirt that's spilled. We made a huge dent in the amount of mess that was in here. As y'all can see, I took my braids off, so I think... I have just a few more items. I don't want to show y'all because there's, yeah, it's still like stuff literally everywhere. And we have these fly traps out because when we were actually moving the boxes in to have them, you know, in and out of the house, the flies just came in. So we had to have some fly traps put up to get rid of them. But I still have a few more things. Like the kitchen is pretty much done. All I need to do is sweep and get rid of the last few things that are on this island that y'all cannot see right now because there's literally stuff. It's not that much. It's not as much as it was before. Before, it was too much shit everywhere. Like way too much stuff. So...
I'm about to go do that and then I'll be back <laughs> once I'm pretty much complete with that. It's a lot of stuff, man. It's stuff all in the garage still. Like you don't realize how much stuff you have until you pack up all your stuff to move. Like, yo, this is crazy. Going from living into living in a house for 19 years to finally moving, you realize how much stuff you've really accumulated as the years have gone on. Like so much stuff has been accumulated and it's absolutely insane. I still have two more tasks to do. Um, well, three, including putting the clothes up in my closet. Ciao. I ain't about to hand up edges when I get done because this is stressful. Anyway, let me get to doing that. I'll see y'all in a few. Good morning, y'all. Happy Wednesday. It is Wednesday, August. Excuse me. I think it's August 9th because, yeah, it should be the 9th because I think the 7th was Monday. But your girl is up. It is approximately, let me open this door so that it won't be echoing as much. But we are about to go jog around the neighborhood. That is the task at hand is to go jog around the neighborhood. So I'm about to go ahead and brush my teeth. I, had, I literally just threw the hat on because the little twisties is twisting. Okay, so I'm about to put on my clothes and brush my teeth, put on my sunscreen. The sun isn't out as of yet because I have a window in my bathroom. Y'all can't see it, obviously, but there's a window back there um, so I can see outside. It, I've been up since 6 a.m., exactly 6 a.m., let me tell y'all, God be working in mysterious ways because I get up, I hear no movement. Mind you now, my mom is supposed to be, at this time, have already left the house. So I'm like, okay, we share locations. We have that relationship where we share locations. So I look at her location. It says she's still here. So I'm confused. I'm like, sis, <laughs> you're supposed to be gone. <laughs> like, what's going on? So I call her and I'm like, are you at? Uh, what are you doing? Hello, is what I hear on the other end of the phone. So I'm like, girl, what are you doing? She's like, what? I said, aren't you supposed to be at work or headed to work? What, what's happening here? She goes, what time is it? I say, uh, a little after six. She goes, oh, I fell asleep. So apparently she woke up when she was supposed to. A little bit before her scheduled time to wake up and she was like okay I can go to sleep for a little bit more maybe the alarm went off again and she just never got up again so she ended up having to leave late for work but I've been up since six the task was to get up before the sun comes up it, it's approximately before the sun comes up so I need to hurry up because I want to get my jog in for at least 30 minutes around the neighborhood so I'm about to get dressed and get into it. So now we're dressed. I know I'm not matching, but who cares? My shirt is wrinkled as hell, but it's gonna have to work. So we're about to attempt this job around the neighborhood and or walk. Um, I'm just wearing some biker shorts, some a hat, as y'all can see, and a shirt and a sports bra underneath. I was contemplating putting on a sweatshirt only because it's 68 degrees and you know, I'm not trying to get sick because I'm about to be sweating but we're about to get to it so as y'all can see a little bit of what it looks like outside just a little bit but see y'all as y'all can see the sun is sure enough coming up but it's not hot yet so we're in good condition and good standing Ooh, y'all see my double jean <laughs> All right, we're walking just to get the warm up going, and then we're about to get into it. Thirty minutes. Thirty minutes. Okay, so the neighborhood isn't completed yet, 
So I thought I would have been able to run the whole thing, but I realized they kind of blocked off some of the other streets. So I wasn't able to run the full thing. So I think what I'm about to do is go to the gym. <laughs> um, I wasn't feeling up to do it only because I'm new to the area. And it's like, I don't even be wanting to talk to nobody. Right now, I don't know where the heck my headphones are. Like, only God knows where those things are. I looked in the car just now, and they weren't in there. So, I think what I'm about to do is go to the gym, indeed. Whew. Y'all, that was really good. I pushed myself. I really did. I started off walking, and then I ran the rest of the way around just to get my blood pumping. So, we've literally only completed nine minutes. Yeah, I know. So, yeah, we're just going to go to the gym. I have a bottle. I'm just going to refill it with water. And then we're going to head to the gym. Y'all probably won't see me until we get back. But at least I came back to talk to you. Like, I really thought at least I would have been able to do a good stretch. And then I saw that there was like some of those because again they're still building on the neighborhood and expounding so i thought they would have um at least had like one part open it was kind of open but there were like heavy heavy operated equipment heavy equipment that were on the street that i could have it was still kind of like sketchy but it was possible I just didn't want to risk it, so I just said, yeah, I'm not going to do it. So, we're going to go to the gym, and we're just going to do some something, because I haven't been in the gym for at least, at this point, a solid week and a half, because I was in the process of moving. So, we're about to get into it. I have on these shorts from Target. I absolutely hate these shorts. Uh, they rolled up the entire time. And All right, so we made it to the gym. But this gym, I could tell, is minuscule. So I guess we'll just try out all the ones in the area. This one was a little further from my house. But I felt like it would have gave what I was looking for. But I don't know. We'll see if they have all the equipment. Let me get my gym bag and my handy dandy water bottle. And we about to be in that thing. Anyway, see y'all once we're finished. And I'll let y'all know how my workout goes. Workout was complete. I don't know if I really like that gym. Only for the simple fact that I really hate. Well, let me not say hate. I despise. Oh, my pimple patch is coming off. I don't know if y'all can see it. Ew, and it looks disgusting. People been talking to me and everything in there. And I done had this pimple patch on my head sliding off. Disgusting. But I really despise when people come to the gym and grunt the entire time and i know that's probably petty but it's like why you gotta do all that if you to me grunting and all that extra stuff you going too heavy too quick like there should be no reason i mean that good inhale exhale and keep it the fuck moving all that extra bs is not necessary at all i don't understand why people do that and it, I mean, it was females in there doing it too. So it's like, maybe me personally, theoretically speaking, maybe y'all should try slowing down the added weight until you work your way up to that weight. If you're coming in strong, when you know your muscles aren't prepared to lift, 60 pounds i'm talking about arms legs all of that if you know your muscles aren't prepared for that start off small and work your way up that way and the, honestly a lot of people will come in the gym and they'll do their strength training like really quick and I, when i say quick i mean they're doing the reps like this rather than paying attention making sure that you're keeping form the entire 
time you're doing these reps. When you come in strong and you're literally <sighs> like doing all of that and lifting really heavy, really quick, rather than giving your time, your muscles time to contract. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Um, people don't have gym etiquette and there's all different types of people that go to the gym. Maybe it's time for me to transition from Planet Fitness to another gym. I don't know. We'll see. Um, I don't know again if I would come back to this one. We'll see. We shall see. But as y'all can see, I put in a sweat and I think once I get back home, I'm still going to go ahead and walk because I didn't walk on a treadmill at all. I usually do my 15, 3 and 30 um but i didn't do that so i think i'm gonna probably go home and jog again maybe i don't know or just walk just to and then stretch because i didn't stretch leaving the gym but i did stretch going in so i'll see y'all later i just want to come and get that little spiel y'all i look crazy but don't mind the appearance okay we are about to i tried to tuck this but y'all can see she wants to do whatever she wants to do. So I guess I just have to, I don't know, tuck her this way. I don't freaking know. Because she would not lay down. She would not stay down for the life of me. Whatever. So we're, I was telling y'all earlier, I believe, don't quote me because I could be wrong, that I was trying to figure out what to cook for dinner. But I think we have shrimp. So I think what I'm going to make is just some shrimp curry or curry shrimp since we have all the ingredients except for the vegetables. So I'm going to go get some vegetables, some potatoes, green onions, red onions, yellow onions. I mean, what the fuck am I talking about? I know we need garlic. We need onions. I need green peppers. I need red peppers and I need yellow peppers. I don't know where I got all that onion stuff from. I think there's an onion in the fridge, so I don't need to get that. But, yeah, so we're about to head to the store. We're going to Publix. My stomach is growling, and I'm trying to figure out. It's not growling. I think it's just gas just moving to my body. I didn't drink tea today, so there's that. But we're about to head to the store. I'm going to have to figure out what to do with this, because I'm not about to be going to the store embarrassed. I might meet my husband today, and my hair... Is sticking out like alpha alpha. We can't have that. Anyway, so let's head to the store. I was trying to get a little bit of content while I was in there for y'all, but, or with y'all. Let I me mean, I say for y'all, but with y'all. But it was people in there moving like they had nowhere to go. And they didn't have, like, even the potatoes that I wanted, they didn't have the big rusted potatoes. Not the big ones, but the individual ones. So I had to buy the ones that are $5.99 a bag. I didn't need all those potatoes, but we gonna use them anyway but i was like dang i didn't need all that but our budget was to spend under twenty dollars and where's my receipt we spent we bought yellow peppers red peppers i mean hold on i gotta get some ac going it's hot okay so we have uh one yellow pepper, a red pepper, some lemons. I bought a total of four lemons and a five pound bag of Idaho potatoes for $5.99 and a tomato, one tomato on the vine, which was 34 cents. And the red pepper and yellow pepper both were 49 cents um, a pound, whatever. So everything came out to a total of 30 I'm gonna say 30, 14 dollars and one cent. I said 30, but yeah, so we we definitely spent well under our budget for the day. So now we're about to head home and cook this shrimp 
curry and I'm gonna talk to y'all later. I don't understand why people, like you were staring at me in the store and then you come out to your car and I'm in my car minding my business, talking to a camera, yes, and you're still staring at me. How can I help you, sir? Anyway, let me get out of here. Let me go home. All right, so we have our groceries and we just made it back home. So we're about to go ahead and prep. I need to wash my hands, obviously, first. Um, go ahead and get getting that started. I haven't even prepped my meat. Or nothing, like, nothing at all. I need to bring my computer out here because It sounded like somebody was not. That's why I just got quiet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we're about to go ahead and prep our shrimp and cut up these veggies. I don't even know if we have a cutting board. I don't even know. We're about to figure it out. I'll be back. Let me figure some stuff out. I don't know I have to peel and debate our shrimp. I'm currently watching The Lincoln Lawyer. If you haven't been checking that out on Netflix, girl, you know what you're missing because she's that girl. So I'm just gonna get me something to drink. Right now, I'm about to be drinking me some cran apple juice and add a splash of water because it can be a little too sweet. This much and the rest is going to be water. Just like that. Every time. I make my jaws lock. Every time. Okay. So, for starters, I usually keep my head covered so I'm not gonna take the head off while I cook. We take out our potatoes, pepper, lemon, and tomato. Cause I'm like, what is that extra bag for? I forgot. <laughs> oh my God. All right, let's get into it. I'm about to go ahead and again peel and debate and then I'll be back once I get done doing that. Ooh. They've been chilling in the refrigerator all day, so they should be fine. about to be so good but let me get to my show and i'll be back once i give y'all the finished product because i want to show y'all everything if y'all need a tutorial let me know because your girl likes to cook y'all didn't know nothing else about me i love to cook okay that's probably why i'm so chubby for lack of a better terms but i'll be back y'all i just got done with debating the shrimp it lives forever I gotta find a method for that because that was just ridiculous. So now I'm about to wash my lemons. Actually, I should probably go ahead and wash all my vegetables after I kind of disinfect the sink a little bit. Because of the shellfish, you need to be this with all the shells. Um, that was in here. So I'm about to go ahead and try to spot clean a little bit until I can do a deep cleaning once I get finished cooking all together. Go ahead and put this in another bag. And then, oh my God, where did these nests come from? Did you follow me from the store? Where'd you come from? Anyway, <laughs> let me get to do this again. I'm gonna come back once I'm finished. But this is all the shrimp that we have. I'm about to go ahead and clean them really good. I've already washed my hands. All this stuff. And yeah. All right, so I'm about to go up there and get my seasons. I've already cleaned my shrimp. So I'm just gonna go up here and 
I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all what I'm seasoned with, and I'm about to go ahead and season. And then I'll be back again. Y'all love my smile. Isn't she just orthodontist did that? I know. Thank you. Thank you very much. Sis, I asked my investigator to look into your suspect. He's got a source in the LAPD. But as soon as he asked about the photo, the source he just dried up. That's because they asked you about it, didn't they? You used this to smoke out a leak. You set me up. For the record. Smoking out the leak was just a lucky bonus. But you were holding out on me. I really thought I knew who killed Jerry. I had to consider the possibility. I was just trying to scare you to talking. That's all. Look on the right side. At least now I know you're being honest with me. I call the chief of detectives. I can end your career right now. As for once you're honest with me, what do you know about Jerry's murder? Do they feel like plastic? It's so nice. I know. I just want to show y'all my plate. I'm about to indulge and I'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye.